What up YouTube, this is GeoStealth01 and I'm coming to you with a follow-up update with my Traxxas e Revo 116 scale. So, my New Year's resolution was to totally upgrade my Mini e Revo, and I'm going to do that. That's my quest to complete my fully customized 116 scale Mini e Revo. So, let's start off with uh, the upgrade that I'm about to do. And this is coming to you from Dusty Motors and this is the 116 scale shroud so the cool thing about this is that this matches up almost identical to the paint job that i've done and also the rpm parts that i've installed so let's unbag this let's install it and let's get it going all right so i just cracked open the bag and this is what's in the bag you have your dusty motors decals which are right there you do have shock socks that they add in there. I didn't know that they did that uh, Did that right now. Uh, that you're able to put onto any one of your shocks. So that's a pretty cool additive piece and you're able to size it to whatever uh, shocks that you have out there. Also, you have your one-sided Velcro, which is right here. And the cool part, it would be your dusty motor shroud. Once again, I'll always say I'm always impressed with the shroud that they've uh, created because it does have the zipper in the middle and by far this matches up with my RC so easily. So let me start measuring a few things out and then we'll work on it from that point on. Alrighty, so you're going to have to measure and cut a few things at this point. So basically, my personal opinion, I would start off with the uh, battery door, measure and cut out the exact length that you want and then also just cut a same exact one because it's going to be the same exact size on the other side you're also going to cut out a length for the front and also a small little piece of velcro is going to be cut over here and just match it up to the other side because they're going to be the same exact things i'm going to start measuring this out and i'm going to install this right now and then we'll come back Alrighty, so installation of the velcro was done now, just a quick note, as you can see, this is a, uh, thicker than this. Primarily what I did was take the Velcro and just cut it down the middle and mash it up on the other side. So last but not least, I'm gonna throw in the shroud, which should be very simple and should take no time. So basically, down over here, around there and that wraps out to the back and there you go alrighty so there goes the installation of the dusty motor shroud 116 scale uh, revision so I'm ecstatic because the green goes so awesome with the green theme that I'm going with. Uh, green RPM parts and the green uh, paint that job that I did with the RC is definitely a cool additive piece. Uh, if you're interested in getting Dusty Motor Shrouds, I'll leave a copy of their website in the description below. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Hopefully this video was able to help you out. And to all my fellas up on YouTube, later.